Welcome to the short video on the LandGuardian search box, the new search tool for your network. Now we're all used to do, using a web search engine, and we could have that search engine built into our browser. I can choose between Google and a number of other search engines, and I can type, type in a piece of text, and the search engine returns the most relevant results. So the search engine is looking at data which exists outside of your network, searches for your topic, and returns the results. So here at Net4 Technologies, we've introduced a new search box for the, for the LangGuardian system. And this allows you to search for data, search for your user and, data and traffic information which has been collected within your network. So just like with the browser search, I can choose between a search for an IP address or IP range, search for a user, search for a report. So I'm going to start first by focusing on the user search. User in question has just contacted the support desk. Her name is Wendy and she's complaining that her PC is slow. So let's take a look at what's happening on Wendy's system. Type in her username and click on search. We then get back a number of elements which focus on Wendy's activity. So she's generated 1.32 gigabytes worth of data on the network, broken down into looks like web, proxy, SSH and IMAP. She's generating some events on the network. Let's take a look at these because the red here shows that there's something serious happening with her PC. So we click on the total and we got a drill down here. So it looks like her machine is infected with spam. She's got Conflicker Worm as well and she's running BitTorrent applications. She's running also she's running eDonkey. Let's take a further look at the, inf the detail. So we see here that uh, she's accessing the torrent portal site. So let's drill down on that. So here we can see she's downloading a torrent file. Looks to be associated with some sort of a movie. So she's running BitTorrent applications. And now we now know also that she's been downloading torrent files associated with movies. So she's probably downloading some movies to her PC. Can drill down on her, her file share activity. And we can see here she's accessing some spreadsheets and some documents on the um, finance server which are stored in the sales share. So what we can now tell Wendy is that her PC is, is generating some data on the network, but she's running some unapproved applications like the BitTorrent, and she's got some viruses that needs to be sorted out in her system. So it may need to be re-imaged or just cleaned down. So it is the reason why her system is slow in this case, and it's not the network or it's not the link between her site and the main data center. Another useful way to use the search feature is to focus on an IP address or IP range. So in the next example, we're going to take a look at all activity to and from one of our remote locations. So the users there are complaining that the link is slow, that they find sometimes accessing applications gets, gets really slow at certain times during the day. So the subnet in question we want to focus on is 192.168.0.0/16. So we're going to take a look at all activities associated with this subnet. So just like with the Windy search, we now get elements associated with this network. So we take a look here at the, the drill down. We see most of the traffic coming from the site is web activity. So let's drill down on that. So it looks like a couple of machines are responsible for most of the data on that link. One in well, three in particular count for over one point just under 1.5 gigabytes worth of data on the link. So let's drill into this particular client here and see what's been happening. So this client here has been on YouTube, downloaded over 330 megabytes of data on YouTube. So let's go back to the screen here, which focuses on that network. So we could say here, just drilling down, that three clients responsible for over half of the traffic. And when we take a look at the detail, we find that you know machines or users are accessing a lot of YouTube, in, in the case of one machine. We find that there is spam being generated from the site. Users at the site are running peer-to-peer uh, -peer e donkey. We also have some conflict coming from the site. Top packet generators from the site, type of browsers at the site, type of websites users at the site are accessing, the top downloads from the, from the site. So looking at this screen here, we have a full picture of what is happening on the link. Not just the traffic totals, but also the types of websites, the types of files, and type of events that have been generated on the network because of users at that site. Finally, with the report, with the LangGuardian search box, we can do a search for report. 
So if a manager or if somebody comes and says, well, we need to take a look at web activity or we need to take a look at file shares, we just type in web, for example, and the Langarnian within will list all web reports that are available. So if you want to see web top users, just select a report and take a look at the detail. So we get here that Karen is the most active web user, 196 hits to the Rapid Series site. We drill down and we can see here in this case that Karen's been trying to download the movie. So again, the Land Guardian search bar is a way of searching for data which has been gathered from your network. It has all been gathered passively. You do not need to install any software. You don't need to install any agents. So it doesn't disrupt the users. It doesn't, you don't need to shut down and, and put the device in line. It's completely passive. It doesn't interfere with the network operation in any way. If you want to find out what is happening on your network within one hour, please visit www.netporttechnologies.com where you can download a free trial today. Alternatively, you can also email support at netporttechnologies.com. Thank you.